future. I apparently didn't start the vlog. So hello, super cool party people. Good morning and welcome to the vlog. I don't know what happened. I guess maybe I just didn't hit the record button. I can't even remember. It's been so many hours. It's 10 o'clock at night now. Just realizing that I didn't start the vlog. So here we are. Enjoy. Alrighty, so I'm mostly ready to go for the day now. I threw all my laundry on my bed. So now when I get home, I will be forced to fold it. Maybe. <laughs> It is 25 after 7. I'm just packing up my bag for the day now. <laughs> this thing is so heavy. There's always so much stuff in it because I just never know where I'm going to end up in the day. And then it's almost time to depart for work, so that'll be good. Like, as... As I have always said, Tuesday is kind of my more chill day because I socialize a bit more, but I actually do have quite a bit of stuff that I want to get done today. Like I have to do some ordering and whatnot because I've just been so busy. So we'll see how today goes. Hopefully only four hours, but there's good potential that'll go well beyond that. So we will see. Anyway, now at this point, I got to finish getting ready. So I will um, see you on the flip side. Let me tell you, I am definitely ready to have a nap, which is bad because we're not even at eight o'clock yet and I'm just flagging. And I hope that I can rally because that would be nice. <laughs> I really, I feel like I have so much stuff to do today. The lighting is terrible. <laughs> I feel like I have so much stuff to do today and I put extra stuff on my list because I know I'm not gonna be working all day again today like I have the last couple times. And so taking a nap would severious, severiously, <laughs> seriously and severely, not a word combined. Anyways, it would severely impact my ability to get all that stuff done. So we'll see what happens. Hopefully we can rally, get things going, and then just have a productive day because that's all we aspire to. So with that, I should probably start getting my butt in gear and get working because the sooner I get started, the sooner I can leave. Alrighty, so it is currently 2.30. I got off work at 12.30. Then we went and grabbed lunch. I made a nail appointment for Thursday. So we're gonna try to get some pretty nails because right now they're ugly. <laughs> Also, I don't think we have nail polish remover at the house, so that's the situation. But I bought some things. <laughs> ah, so my hair has, I've been trying to like, I don't know, like is it curly, isn't it curly? I don't know. So I got this Strictly Curls Moisture Mask by Mark Anthony. So I'm hoping that that will help hydrate a little bit. I also just got this hemp oil, like moisture rescue because my hair is just a little coarse as is so I always feel like it's more coarse than it's supposed to be especially down at the ends honestly I just need to get a haircut that'll probably save things but it's fine I also picked up some translucent powder uh, I've been using the same one for like a while <laughs> And also, I'm running out of it, so I think it's time to at least have a backup, if nothing else. And then I want to try, I usually use just a BB cream for my foundation, but I want to try an actual foundation. Tati was talking about the Wet n Wild, not the photo finish. She's talking about the new one that came out with, like, moisturizing in it. And so I figured I would try it because it looked really good on her, but she's like a professional. Um, but she did mention that this one smells a little bit like paint thinner and I get it. I opened it up and I was like, mm, yep, there's that paint thinner smell. Also got like some food and stuff, but that's boring. I need to fold my clothes though. So that's a thing that needs to happen. I just feel like I have a million things I need to do though. What What is new, right? Um, <laughs> So I'm going to try to get myself sorted. I am cooking my shredded chicken currently. It'll take a couple hours because it is a frozen, but it is in the crock pot, so I don't need to worry about it, which is nice. I'm thinking I might spend a little bit of time embroidering because I'm working on something and maybe watch an episode of Survivor or so and then start to get everything together and then fold my laundry and then and then and then. <laughs> The good news is it's not 4.30 right now, which is kind of what it's been lately when I've been getting home from work and getting to this point where I'm settling down. So I feel like I have lots of time at the moment. We'll see how it goes as the day goes on. But yeah, that's where we're at. 
I'm gonna screw around for a little bit doing nothing super productive but feeding the soul because I just I feel like I've been going hard lately so that's why I want to focus on just not going so hard in this particular moment and then we'll get to the laundry and we'll go from there. Alrighty, so it is six o'clock now and I felt like I wasn't making any progress on my list at all, but I just crossed off a bunch of things and we are doing all right. Two of the things I have to do are just to shoot off some quick emails and I would like to read at some point, do my 5,000 words. Again, not really a priority because I'm so far ahead and then, like blog and maybe invoicing. I did put it on my list for today, but I don't know if I'm so inclined to do it, but we will see, but it is six. Did I say that? I think I said that. Anyways, it's six o'clock, which means it's about dinner time. So I'm gonna go pop downstairs and make some food for my tummy and then just kind of go from there. See if I can come up with a blog topic. I've not really got anything. Like, I didn't got good English there. I don't really have any ideas right now. One of my goals that I had last year and also this year was just to have a running list of topics that I could talk about if I was struggling. And I haven't done that. <laughs> I didn't do it last year. Haven't done it this year. Actually, I could check my agenda. There might be something in there, but I doubt it. But anyways, we're making progress. My chicken is all done and ready to go. I should probably go put that in the fridge because it's probably cool enough now. So, yeah, progress. This is exciting. So it is nine o'clock and I just finished my edit and let me tell you, I'm exhausted. Also, I did just shy of 4,000 words because one, I'm way ahead of schedule and two, I am exhausted. And in all fairness, I probably cut another like 2,500 words or so. So if you take that into account, then I did more than 5,000. At this point, I'm just not really sure how to measure that in a way with my editing, so I haven't really been tracking it. I should actually, whatever I, I, I English, I should add what I cut to my cut section where I've been tracking it because I don't know what else to do with it. But I'm just, I'm exhausted. I know I've said that like three times in the last 57 seconds, but it's true. I was gonna say, but I'm exhausted. I think I'm just gonna climb into bed now, to be honest. I've done everything on my list, except for lifting weights, because we know. I, I have this habit tracking calendar back here. Why is it so hard to point to things? There. <laughs> I have that habit tracking calendar there, and I consistently get everything, except for there's this line in the middle that I've hit like twice this month, and that's pumping the iron. We'll get onto it though. I'm thinking that maybe that should be my 30 minute goal for next month because I don't really have one yet. And that is definitely something I would like to do. I'm building habits because you know, if you do something every day for like 30 days or something, you build a habit. So oh, that snap was pathetic. There we go. We're building habits. Anyways, I legitimately think I'm just going to climb into bed now. So with that, I'm going to say thank you so much for coming along on today's adventure and I'll see you tomorrow when we do very similar things. Good night.